Police hope surveillance video from a shooting late last month at an East Dallas restaurant helps them identify and find the gunman. The DPD shooting response team has asked Fox 4 Sean Rabb to help get the word and the video out. Sean is live in studio tonight with his track down report. Sean. Yeah, and Steve, the shooting response team started by Chief Renee Hall is a special group that answers shooting incidents where no one dies. That's the good news about tonight's track down. No one died, but three were shot. And before these two groups had words inside of Denny's restaurant, they didn't know each other. Some patrons got into an argument. Detective Nathan Heathcote knows the Denny's restaurant at I-30 and Jim Miller. When I worked Channel 3, which is just on the other side of the highway, I mean, I ate at this Denny's almost every night All right. at about 5 o'clock in the morning because wow. it was the only thing open. Those nights, no one opened fire in the parking lot like September 26th. What ended in the parking lot started in the lobby. Video shows smoke between the three Hispanic men and the group of African Americans, four men and a woman. They came out here to, I guess, settle their differences. And then one thing led to another. I think there was a very small um, physical fight mm -hmm. for like a few seconds. And then two of the suspects pulled out weapons and started shooting. You can see at the left of your screen, a flash as the bullet leaves the barrel, and one man backing up to the iron fence, firing. Look at the pavement, puffs of smoke as bullets ricochet off the ground. One went through the window, there's a few down on the wall, and then the metal door frame got hit as well, and there was seven to eight people inside the Denny's as well. Three people were shot including the man on the bicycle who rode up and stopped to watch what he thought would be a fist fight. Two of the three Hispanic men also shot, none with life-threatening injuries. What is it that you need from our viewers tonight? Oh, really, I wanted to do this with you to try to help identify these three suspects. One of them has a huge beard, light skin. He's actually, I believe, the one that got into the physical fight. He's the one that paid at the register. But not one of the two shooters. Heathcote says the shooting, that's on this big man and this guy, the skinny tall one in sweatpants, backing up and busting caps. And it put three people in the hospital. Could have put more if one of these rounds that went through the window hit somebody in there. Um, so I'm just really wanting assistance with identifying these suspects. Now, Detective Nathan Heathcote works 8, 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. So he's at work right now waiting for your phone call tonight. Call him 214-671-4310-671-4310. Help catch some shooters caught on tape, but still at large.